Welcome back <coughs> again. In today's video, we will be doing ZTH Web 2, which talks about web vulnerabilities. This is, it is part of web fundamentals. In this room, we're going to be doing all of the tasks. Since all of the tasks, the tasks are not long and it can be done easily. So I'm going to walk you over all of the tasks. So basically, we start with either, which is uh, insecure direct object reference, and then we go to force browsing, and finally API bypassing. So for each one of these tasks, uh, you will have to go to a different port once you deploy the machine. So basically, with this task one, which is either, we start with port 80. The challenge is you're given a set of credentials, username, note, and password is test1234. And you have to exploit either and find the flag. Now, okay, let's go to port 80. So here you're given a username and password. Just log in. Note test 1234. So, as a regular user, you're logged into your account. And you see here uh, your notes. So basically, if you look at the URL, you have a file called note.php. Okay, that controls the uh, notes. So basically, you have every node for every user. And for the current user, which is note, the node ID is one. Now, basically, either either can be exploited when you uh, try to access resources for other users using URL parameters, which means that that's why it's called insecure direct object reference because the object is referencing uh, other resources that you're not supposed to access. So basically, this object here, if we change the ID to two, for example, nothing here. If we change to three, nothing. If we change to zero, how about zero? As you can see, we accessed other users' notes, which in this case is the flag. Uh, so that's uh, basically the either if you're wondering what is either, and that's the flag for the first task, or task four. Now, if you go to challenge for task eight, force browsing, go to port 81. Again, we're given user and password. Let's see if we're given set of credentials. Use, use what you have learned to find the flag. So in force browsing, if you go to the intro here, let's log in first. Okay, note, test, one, two, three, four. Once you submit your credentials, you are redirected to a page that also displays your notes. The note here is, I am note. If you look at the URL, you see uh, we have the URL, uh, the address, and slash note, which happens to be the username, and slash note.txt. So the structure is, you have the username, and then you have the note file which is node.txt so for every user i have a file and the url structure goes like this address user and uh, file so what if i want to access other users notes like i did in the same uh, the first scenario the first scenario we exploited the object or the parameter world parameter by changing the value of the world parameter and getting the web server displaying different notes but here we don't have a parameter to change, so we can't exploit either vulnerability. Here we have to do some sort of force browsing. So if you want to access other users' notes, you have to change the username, or you have to guess what is the, uh, the username, what potential username that may exist on the web server uh, to which you can, or to whose notes you can get access to. So basically, we can use wfuzz to guess the usernames because they are there could be multiple usernames and we can't just go about manually determining or guessing the usernames. It's, it is uh, time, uh, so wasting the time and so that's why we use wfuzz. So the syntax for wfuzz is like this. This is the command, okay. And dash c, we have some parameters to use here. So dash c, dash z. Remember that if you want to specify a file from which you will pull the uh, usernames, you use dash z, file, and then put comma, and the path to the file. All right, dash dash hw, here we hide the words. In the first example, as you can see here, uh, it's not here, okay. 
Dash dash HW is to hide the words. So when you run wfuzz, it shows you the words, characters, and lines. The words, characters, and lines are the responses tried against the web server. Okay, and actually, yeah, the input tried against the web server, and here you get the response. So for every word you try from the word list, there is a response you get from the web server. If you only want to show the words that is getting you the uh, right response, which is 200, you use dash dash hw. So you only show the results that yielded the uh, correct uh, payload. So we use dash dash hw, and depending on the previous uh, tries or attempts, we know that 57 is the number of the words. Dash u is the URL, we define the URL, and we put the word fuzz in place or yeah, in the place of the parameter we're trying to fuzz. In our case, we're trying to guess the usernames, so we put fuzz here. And then we continue the URL structure, which happens to be slash node.txt. That's the full syntax of wfuzz. You run it, and you will see that the word password is uh, a payload that yields successful results. So if you get take passwords here, password, and we enter, as you can see, password happens to be an existing or a valid user on the web server. So if you enter password here, we get access to the username who's, uh, or to the user whose username is password and happens the node happens to be the flag. That's for browsing. Okay. That's the answer for the last challenge or the task A. Now, last challenge, API bypass. Now, if you want to read intro about API, you can read it here, but basically in API bypass, we try to guess, we try to do a work that's similar to direct research. So the example, if you read the example in the lay down in the scenario here, you see there is a page or a file called api.php and there is a parameter uh, that controls the user input, which is cmd here, or the parameter name is cmd. So, but in the, in the challenge, you're given uh, port 82 and if you get access now if you if, let's go to port 82 so let's read this again note uh, tests 1234 so in API bypass or ap application programming interface uh, most of the time we exploit system commands so basically here we have a page or a file called admin.php which controls user input. So if we type something like id, it should return uh, the output of the id command on Linux. It's not going to work. You see nothing returned. Basically because maybe there is some filtering in place or maybe it's not a place we should, we should be looking for the vulnerability. But if you type only flag or txt, you will find your flag. So API bypass is similar to directory search. If you take the URL here and conduct a directory search, let's try sudo go buster. So here, let's type uh, dash x txt and enter. Also, change the URL. with the IP address uh, the port, I forgot the port but let's take a look again at the URL I think we can't do the brute force or the direct research because we need to be authenticated let's try Yes, actually we need to be authenticated. It's not going to work like this. So basically, uh, it worked when we typed flag to txt. Anyway, that is the uh, room, zth 2 I hope you find that useful, and see you in the next video.